Hello everyone, welcome to ENA Environmental News Analysis. In this session on ENA, we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic coming from the past. Because it's World Environment Day, so we are going to pick up some excerpts from Indira Gandhi's our XPM speech at Stockholm in 1972. So let's go ahead. So first important thing is that why this conference was held in 1972? The answer is that on 13th December 1967, a proposal reached the UN General Assembly to organize a conference on the extremely complex problems related to human environment. And then, it was the Swedish delegation that led by Sweden's UN representatives Sverker Estrom and Borje Vilna, who took this initiative to convene the first United Nations Conference on the Human Environment UNCHE that is called in short form in its capital city of Stockholm in 1972. Now let's understand that large-scale industrial pollution, threat of nuclear radiation, destruction of ecosystems around the globe, the 1960s witnessed it all and that's why the advent of widespread international concern about a global environmental crisis was there. So what happened? This heightened the global awareness triggering a modern environmental movement. It was the initiative of small country Sweden, that is part of Scandinavia, that laid the foundations for the international cooperation on environmental matters. Now, on 5th June 1972, what happened? The UN Conference on the Human Environment opened its first plenary session. That's why two years later, remember on the same day it was decided that our World Environment Day would be celebrated. So 114 governments represented in Stockholm and they reached an unprecedented level of agreement. And the best outcome that we know today is United Nations Environment Programme, UNEP. Now, the UN Conference on Human Environment marked a watershed in the evolution of humanity's relationship with Earth and global concern about the environment. The conference's motto was only one earth. Remember these three words, only one earth became iconic for modern environmental movement since 1972. Now, World Environment Day is celebrated for the first time. It was celebrated in 1974 and on June 5th and the motto, the slogan was only one earth. That is important to note. Now, let's understand in today's session what was India's stand? So our ex-Prime Minister, the then Prime Minister Mrs. Indira Gandhi had some things to say regarding the world environment. So let's understand from her speech. Now the first important point is that she opened her speech with reference to the Emperor Ashoka who forbade the killing. So it's important to look into the past for the matters of present. So she mentioned this very clearly that India stands on a very peculiar point and that is one cannot be truly human and civilized unless one looks upon not only all fellow men but all creation with the eyes of a friend. That was important to note in the opening speech. Then further it was important to understand that we all as human beings are guilty. So let's accept it first. That is important. That's why the acceptance of guilt was the primary point in the speech where it is clearly mentioned that we have been guilty of disregarding the nature. That's important to note. Now, let's understand the next point that why these tensions are happening with environment. So tensions arise because of man's domination, the notion of superiority that was mentioned in her speech. So it's clearly written here if you read it that domination over other races, other countries, exploitation, mass exploitation of natural resources alongside. This has led to tensions all around the globe. So what was important here to note that Poverty and unemployment are the root causes, not just root causes for social issues but also for environmental issues. For example, it's clearly mentioned here that the rivers and their air that we 
see that it should be clean when their own lives are contaminated how will the poor the poverty stricken people will clean those parts of nature so that's important that without healing the poverty and unemployment we cannot clean or expect that environment would be clean now next important point was that she completely slammed the development paradigm that was going on clearly stated that our industrialization tend to follow the paths which are more accepted in advanced countries of the world and had traversed earlier so what has happened it has brought a lots of collection of problems and it is important to note that some problems are due to our shortcomings and it is inherent in the attitude of people now let's understand population resource ratio which was the stand of india at that particular time it's important to note that countries with but a small fraction of the world population consume the bulk of world population's minerals fossil fuels and other stuff so this was raised in this particular speech then what we see here is pollution is not a technical problem it was stand of india in 1972 itself so we should remember that population or pollution it's not just a technical problem it is rather the fault lies in the science and society as such but in the sense of value of the contemporary world which ignores the rights of others and is oblivious of longer perspective so this was highlighted that all the isms of modern age even those which in theory disown the private profit principle assume what that man's cardinal interest is acquisition this is where the problem lies again the interlinkages were highlighted for example life is one and the world is one this concept was highlighted by india so the population explosion poverty ignorance diseases pollution of the surroundings stockpiling of no nuclear weapons and biological chemical weapons it was entirely a vicious circle which was mentioned in the speech and interlinkages were highlighted now let's understand that unity of the world was the approach to follow for alternative solution so india did not just say what the problem was and why the problem was but also cited that what was the way to follow so it is clearly mentioned here in the speech that there is no alternative to a cooperative approach on a global scale to the entire spectrum of our problems so this was the stand of india in 1972 now let's look here it's very interesting to note that people's participation matters not by coercion you can make people do anything so it is clearly mentioned in the first paragraph if you can read that it will not be easy for large societies to change their style of living so changing style of living is not easy they cannot be coerced to do so so what is happening people can be motivated and urged to participate in better alternatives and this holds true in current context as well so what do you find here is again that an excerpt from atharva veda that is what of thee i dig out let that quickly grow over let me not hit thy vitals or thy heart this was mentioned in this speech given by then pm indira gandhi to demonstrate that india since ages has been close to nature has been following the living in harmony with nature so that's all about ena session today so please stay tuned stay safe and stay healthy